Johnny here from Outdoor Explore and today I'm up at Dog Mountain in the north shore of Vancouver uh, just doing some hiking and uh, this is a really popular destination for snowshoeing and hiking um, and yeah I thought I'd do a little talk today about the kind of stuff that you should take when you go snowshoeing or when you go hiking in the winter um, and also how to stay safe out there. So first thing on uh, what to take is clothing. So it's, it's snowy, it's cold. Uh, I'm wearing this base layer, it's like a wicking top, I wear this when I go skiing, it's really nice and warm. Um, and over top of that I've got this uh, padded waterproof jacket. Uh, I've, again I wear this when I'm ski touring, it's really nice and warm, especially when you're active. Um, then I've got some ski pants on, these are padded ski pants again, waterproof, um, and some thick waterproof hiking boots uh, with thick socks underneath to keep my feet warm. Now I've got some thin gloves on but I've also got some thick gloves in my bag just in case it gets cold when I stop for lunch or whatever. And uh, yeah, sunglasses and sun hat because it's pretty sunny today. So yeah, nice and warm, waterproof. I've got spare layers just in case it gets any colder but uh, yeah, this is the kind of stuff you should, uh, you should be wearing. Uh, in terms of the kind of stuff you, you'll carry, uh, I'll show you my bag in a second. Um, but important thing is uh, like map, compass, so you know where you're going, uh, and a cell phone, so you, if there's any signal, you can get in touch with the emergency services if anything goes wrong, or just like send a text home to say, "Hey, I'm okay. Just uh, stop for lunch or whatever." Um, it's important to uh, to have someone who knows where you're going, so leave a trip report and uh, you know assign an emergency contact. Uh, we've got tools on the Outdoor Explore website, so uh, head over to our site and uh, there's all sorts of tools for trip planning and uh, for you know, safety and, and stuff like that. So uh, check those out. Okay, so I'm going to go through my kit now. Um, so all this stuff is essential. Uh, I don't, I'm not really carrying anything here that you, you shouldn't really have on yourselves as well. Uh, so the first thing is obviously a bag. This is a 33 litre bag, you can get away with something smaller than this. Uh, but the important thing about this is that it has a whistle on it. So one of the 10 essentials is some way of signalling people. This has got a whistle on it. Uh, you might also want to carry another whistle as well because these ones are ten tend to not be amazing. but. Um, yeah, a lot of bags have these on these days, and if not, you can buy these buckles yourselves and put them on your own bag. Then, food. So, I'm only out for a couple of hours today, so I've just got a couple of trail bars, some uh, energy from the cliff box, and then uh, some lunch, which I've already eaten, but that would be in that. Uh, the water as well. I'm only out for a couple of hours. I only brought one litre with me, but uh, if you're going out for a full day, Te definitely take more, take more than you need, just in case anything happens. Uh, this is my wallet, so it's just a credit card and my ID. Make sure you always carry some ID with you, just in case anything happens, people can find your bag and identify you. Um, got some toilet roll, just in case, you never know. Then, first aid kit, uh, it's a pretty basic one. Um, we got some sunglasses. Some super warm gloves, so yeah, you know it, it's cold out today. It's I don't know minus four maybe. So uh, yeah, I've got some nice warm gloves for uh, just in case I get too cold. Map, so always carry a map. But more importantly, know how to use it. So this is a map of North Shore Mountains. Uh, so always get a map of where you're going. Have a look at it the day before. Uh, you know, know the terrain, know your plan. Like I said earlier, leave that plan with someone. I got a compass. Uh, a lighter, just in case I need to start a fire or anything. I've got a spare waterproof jacket, just in case, you know, uh, it's getting cold and I need uh, some like wind protection or something. Head torch, uh, make sure it's charged up or make sure it's got batteries or you've got spare batteries. Um, a buff and a woolly hat, you know, in case it gets really cold. Uh, pen knife, just a basic one. Some emergency things here, so I've got some hand warmers, I've got another fire lighter, uh, I've got some tape just in case I need to uh, repair anything. I've got like a foil blanket or a space blanket or um, like emergency shelter type thing. And sun cream. It's pretty sunny today, haven't put on any on yet because I've been in the trees, but uh, yeah, make sure you've, you've got some of that. So that's it, like as you can see it's pretty... Uh, 
pretty small, pretty basic. You don't need much more than that, really. If you're going out for longer, like I said, you need more food, more water. If it's really cold, you might need more layers, but just up here in the North Shore Mountains, this is enough. But I, I see so many people out there who don't have these basic things, you know, they're just walking around without a bag on, they've got no water, no food, and if anything goes wrong, they're potentially screwed. So uh, North Shore Rescue suffer with this problem all the time, just trying to get people informed in terms of what kind of things to take and how to stay safe out there. So yeah, make sure you've got all this stuff here, make sure you're wearing nice warm layers, Make sure people know where you're going. You've written a trip report. Again, head over to the Outdoor Explorer website and check out our trip planning tools. And um, yeah, have fun, stay safe, and I'll see you out there.